this whole idea of breaking ends and send there's plenty of uh, material online on the same uh, where you know people do say that you know you don't have to really uh, break more, more break in modern engines and you know you can go I mean not all out back open but you can definitely uh, you know you get you, you you needn't be so scared about going above a certain rpm range as long as you don't hit the red lines uh, but one thing for sure that one has to keep in mind when uh, swapping out engine components that is when you have new components thrown into an old engine uh, you know you have to be very very careful about how they bed in because you're asking for uh, uneven wear and tear the moment you throw in a new part there's newer new tolerances new clearance and uh, how the engine will respond to that is uh, is a very strange thing and uh, yeah so one has to be very careful and not uh, push things you you really need to be slow and steady wins the race if you have that kind of an approach you 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 have to give it its own share of time now how does tech uh, calculate 400 or 500 kilometers of uh, you know break-in procedure I have no clue uh, based on my experience whatever experience I've had on breaking in engines I've always understood that the, the whole of the break-in process that is varying RPM ranges um, you know going slow going fast and you know twisting the throttle uh, except lugging you shouldn't be lugging very important is that you shouldn't be lugging your motorcycles uh, everything else is allowed as long as you don't hit the red limit red, uh, rev limiter and as long as you don't lug uh, pretty much everything else is all right yeah uh, give the motorcycle a break give it a break every now and then let it let it uh, kind of relax rest uh, new engines make a lot of heat and one has to be very careful uh, to manage the heat cycles as long you know you manage the heat cycles your engines will be good the initial part of the break-in procedure if you manage the heat cycles your engines will do well yeah so good open roads great wind whoa there's a rain cloud headed this way that's huge let's just hope I don't get caught in it once that needle once that needle climbs up <laughs> waiting the motorcycle is waiting Ben Ben is waiting for it both Ben's are waiting for it the big Ben and little Ben <laughs> a subscriber commented on one of my videos saying that you know another fella from uh, don't really remember the name of the place but uh, somebody else from another part of the world decided to name his motorcycle little Ben and uh, I just felt that name was so apt like so apt for uh, the beloved Himi but then uh, yeah I did not want to copy not want to borrow somebody else's name hence this fellow is gonna be called Ben just Ben we'll leave it at that making a u-turn here Sand. <laughs> I did not want to risk the sand, buddies. Okay, let's do some sand riding. Oh, the cam sure helps. Deep. Don't know. Don't know how deep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. 
Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Woo! <laughs> Hi fellas, been back again and uh, what you have here is valves that haven't budged. The intake hasn't. I'm going to check the exhaust and then conclude. The intake is a 0.8, somewhere around 0.8 and uh, 0.9. I know from experience that uh, uh, it's doing well. The blade that I have is point. Uh, 076 millimeters but i know how to adjust it in such a way that you know i i get a, uh, so the the point one doesn't go in and the point seven zero seven six slides in well with just enough resistance to let me know that this would be somewhere around point eight or at best point eight point something and uh, yeah so the intake uh, hasn't budged 500 kilometers of running in nothing really uh, to worry about moving on to the exhaust for the exhaust what i have with me is uh, i don't really have a 0.23 so what i intend on using is a 0 0.102 and 0 0.127 so that would roughly translate to 0 0.227 and uh, yeah 0 0.227 would be somewhere around 0 0.23 and uh, yeah I, I i've been doing this for ages i've been doing this on all my motorcycles for ages so there's enough experience and i'll get it right uh, for you guys who do not know how to use these things, kindly take it to a mech. But, uh, take this along with you, give them the specs, they'll do it. The best specs would be the in, uh, for, a, for a good running engine, not a good sounding engine. For a good running engine would be somewhere on 0 0.09 and 0 0.24. For a good sounding engine, uh, it would be 0 0.08 and then 0 0.22 or 0.23. Uh, these little things make a big difference. Yeah, so just going in with this and uh, let's just check. Yep, so got done with everything, put back things together and uh, all's well, the valves are in spec. I'm very happy that the valves are in spec. Uh, the motorcycle sounds like um, a sewing machine now. It's, it's really loud and uh, chattery. You uh, ought to expect that from a cam swap is because uh, these cams are uh, cams which have uh, a longer duration and higher lift and of course more valve overlap. So. And, and and with all that you know the uh, the valve springs so the valve springs don't really help um, you know they are they are designed for the uh, older uh, uh, profile of the cams when you have a higher lift cam the valve springs kind of uh, act with a lot more of uh, uh, tension you know they, they the closing and opening of the valves is a lot more stronger so uh, of course you'll hear a lot of valve chop and uh, valve noise valve train noise but that uh, aside the motor feels feels like a breeze here this is more important not how the engine sounds the engine sounds like crap after riding for about a half an hour or one hour um, but uh, yeah, that is when you put your ear to it but uh, at a distance it's smooth as smooth as it can get and the ride quality is just impeccable it's amazingly smooth and um, that's what's more important well that was it just let me let me just uh, get you guys to listen to this there you go brand new oil will uh, keep this for about uh, four or five thousand kilometers very happy with how things have turned out going to uh, start riding pushing till 5k 5.5k rpms let's see how this machine performs you like the video give it a big thumbs up 
subscribe to the channel, share these videos. All the love for the Himalayans, the 411s.